you look at our Android device, you'll notice that all of the applications, they do have icons. They're, the icons are very specific to the application. So the icon represents what the application is. So there's a lot of science behind creating amazing icons for applications. You can actually do a little Google research on how to create stunning and meaningful app icons. As we've been creating applications, you notice that all of the project that we've been creating, they are given a default icon. So usually it's something like this, as you can see there. Where is that coming from? Well, let's look at our project here. This is a self project. If you go to project and we go to resources, close this down. We go to resources. We know, notice we have a lot of different folders here. Let's go to our map folder. So this folder here, there's the IC launcher. So IC stands for icon launcher, which is the icon that is shown when we launch our application or when we have installed the application. So this would be an icon launcher, this icon launcher, all of this. Very good. So if you open straight in, you'll see that we have different kind of PNGs. All of these are different sizes resolution because as you know right now android devices come in all different resolutions so for each different device with different resolution we would need a different resolution to show on the app page okay so if you double click or just click you notice that this one is lower resolution that's why it looks a little bit pixelated if you go to the second one it's a little bit medium this one is a little bit better as you go, you notice it's changing its format, it's changing its resolution. If you go to highest, it is much, much better. Also, you notice at the bottom here, there's this XML IC launcher. It says any DPI. Double click, you notice that it's actually just an XML page that it goes ahead and fetches the IC launcher background and foreground and all this stuff that will work on any resolution device. So all of this is created for us. If you notice, there's also another folder inside called IC Launcher Round. So these all have rounder icons. So the same icons we had there, but this time they're all rounder. All of these folders are called on runtime automatically by the operating system and fetches the correct image resolution for the device. So I'm gonna show you how can we create our own icons for our application. So I have a website here by Romain Nurik. He's another Google superstar. Show sure. a little bigger. And it's called Android Asset Studio. So this is a collection of tools to easily generate assets such as launcher icons for your Android app. So there's a few here. So there's Android icon generator or launcher icon generator. There's app shortcut generator, shape shifter, and there's generic one and so forth. At this point, we're interested in launcher icon. So I'm going to right click, open a new tab, and right there you can see that you have an option to actually start designing your own icon. The beauty about using these tools is that it takes care of all of these different resolution. All we have to do once we have designed our icon, we're just going to go ahead and download a zip folder which will have the structure that we need, which is then take that and drop in our project and we're done. Okay, so in this case here, I can, for a foreground image, I can add image from my computer, right, if I already have one, or I can just use a clip art. So this, all of this comes from material design icons on GitHub. So if you want to learn more about it, you can just click there and go there. Suppose that I just want to find something, let's say I can find person like that, or I can say flower. There is a flower. I'm going to click on that and I can come down here and change the padding of our icon background. So the less padding, of course, the bigger it shows. I can just skip there. I can go ahead and change the background color. Look at that. I can pick that something like that or I can use this picker here to change the colors. I like that color. I can make it crop or I can put it at center. All right. That looks real good. And I can make the shape either circle or square or none. In that case, we all have just the icon like that or tall rectangle like that. So there's all of these different shapes. 
of course you will have to adjust accordingly. So at this point, let me go ahead and keep using this square or perhaps circle. How does that look? Not too bad. Okay, and I can add some effects. I'm going to elevate the shadows like that or add a score at the top. I like this cast shadow. Okay, and the name is going to be IC Launcher. You can change it to something else, but I like to keep it that way because Android Studio will know exactly what to do with these images. Also notice I can get rid of the grid. This will only be here for us to design our icon. Okay, so I can ch change to don't trim or trim as well. And you notice I can also change uh, to text if I don't want to put anything in there. So if I say something like self dot like this, I'm going to change the padding or maybe a bigger padding so I can we can see everything. It'll help if I am actually able to write it the correct way, self like that. And I can also go and find all of these different fonts that I can play with like that. I can change the color of the actual text like this. Okay, all these different things I can do. And I can change, of course, the foreground color if I wish to do so too. And everything else is the same. Very good, so you have different options here. But I'm gonna go back to our clip art here. Click that. That looks really good. Maybe I'm gonna change the foreground to perhaps white like this and keep that nice green color in the background there. And maybe I'm going to make this a little bit bigger by changing the padding. That looks good. And voila. So once you're satisfied with your design, you can all you have to do is just download as such. And you're going to download IC. I'm going to go ahead and open and find her. Mine is showing one here because I had downloaded another one. Just double click. When we do that, you notice that we have our res file, which is exactly what we want. If you go back to our project, so as you can see here, we have our res file, which contains all of these different resolutions for our icon. Okay, we have medium, HDP, XHDPI, and so forth. And we also notice you have this web high resolution, which is the highest resolution for the web of your application. So you would use this web high res for the Google Play Store. Okay, it's 512 by 512, as you can see there. So at this point here, what I can do, so at this point here, what I can do to see things actually better, I'm going to right click on res, and I'm going to look at the contents in the finder so I can see exactly where all of this is. Now, once you open this view here, you notice that we start seeing things that we don't normally see there. Notice inside of a res, notice now that we have these all of these folders. So we have meet map that we can see there. So what I can do now, I can just take all of this. In fact, this is just one way of doing I could have just put all of that directly here. But I just want to show you the way I usually like to do either way it works. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy all of these guys. And my res here, I'm going to right click. And I'm just going to say, paste five items. Now this is awesome. I'm going to say apply to all and I'm going to say replace. This goes ahead and replaces all of the images and folders. We come back here. You'll notice if you go to map again, look at that. Now you click here. Notice it changed everything for us. We don't have to do anything. Even out here, it goes and gets everything for us. Okay. Very good. So at this point here, if I run my app again, it's going to run. Very good. It looks great. But most importantly, I'm going to get out of it. And if we go to our apps, you'll see we should have, if all goes well, look at this. Now we have our self with this nice icon here. At this point here, we have a very professional icon. If you click on it, it's going to launch our application. All right. Very good. So go back, clear, go back to our apps. You notice we should have from now on, every time we install or anyone install this application, they will have this very nice icon. Good. What I want you to do is to use this tool that I showed you here from Android Asset Studio and create 
an asset like this, create an icon, and then transfer all of that to the project and see how that all looks like.